friends finally the much awaited notification for the specialist grade vdr has been published on rb website and in this video you will get to know everything about the specialist vacancies so let's start it so first these are the important dates the online application has started on rb website and, uh, from august 17 2018 till September 7, 2018 the link will remain open and the paper 1, paper 2 and paper 3 these will take place on September 29, 2018 then the uh, vacancies with reservations so this is the detail then the pay scale Pay scale is similar to that of uh, grade BDR general and the age limit is different here the minimum age is 24 years and the maximum age is 34 years as on 1st August 2018 as on 1st August 2018 and they have also given that uh, the candidate must have been born not earlier than 1st August 1984 and not later than 1st August 1994 then we come to the educational qualification and other essential qualification so for the post of finance the essential qualification is that two year full time post graduation degree in economics commerce MBA finance post graduation diploma in management from an Indian University recognized by government body ICTE or a similar foreign university etc So you should have full-time MBA correspondence MBA I think is not eligible and you should have at least 55% marks other desirable the CFA from USA FRM CA These candidates will be given additional weightage in the interview I think then in experience this is the new thing for this post at least three years of work experience in corporate credit corporate loan recovery corporate credit corporate loan recovery investment treasury including derivative in a scheduled commercial bank or a systematically important nbfc systematically important nbfc's are that nbfc's of uh, large sizes like bajaj finance etc or Mahindra Finance, these kind of NBFCs are called systematically invest important NBFCs whose asset size is more than 1000 crores. So, if you have experience three years' experience in these fields uh, corporate credit appraisal, corporate loan, recovery investment, and treasury, in, including derivatives, then you can apply for this post. Then, the next post is data analytics. For the data analytics, similarly, you should have a two years' MBA in finance. Or masters in statistics from an Indian University with 55% marks or you can have the similar degree from foreign university also and here they have asked for three years of experience in data analytics in areas of credit market liquidity risk in a scheduled commercial bank so your data analysis should be pertaining to these areas credit market or liquidity risk in scheduled commercial banks or an NBFC and that NBFC or in a rating agency so here you have three uh, field either it can be commercial bank or an NBFC or a rating agency but for the rating agency they have asked that you should the rating agency should have been established at least 10 years back then we have the risk modeling for that you should have two years MBA in finance or masters in statistics from an Indian or a similar degree from foreign university with at least 55% marks and the experience is three years experience in risk modeling in areas credit market liquidity in a scheduled commercial bank or NBFC or a credit rating agency then the forensic audit for forensic audit they have asked for CA IC WA with certificate course on forensic accounting and fraud detections conducted by ICAI and they should have at least three years of specialized work experience in the area of 
forensic audit and being a part of forensic audit team in central state government undertaking or a department. Then the professional copy editing. For that, full-time post-graduation degree in English from an Indian university recognized by government bodies or a foreign university with at least 5% marks. And knowledge of Hindi is desirable. And then experience at least three years of work experience in professional copy editing in a well-known publishing house, magazine or journal experience of rewriting user generated content to professional standards excellent standard of Eng written english and excellent proof reading skills then for hrm human resource management full time post graduation di diploma degree in hrm personal management industrial relation labor welfare from a recognized indian or foreign university with at least 55% marks then the experience required for this post is at least three years work experience in the field of human resource management, recruitment, training, professional management, industrial relationship, relations in domestic foreign banks, FIs, reputed financial companies, financial service organization, reputed public or private corporations. Then the selection process. Selection will be uh, on the best of uh, three papers and, and on followed by interview so online objective professional knowledge in hindi in the area of specialization 90 marks 100 marks will be given 90 minutes and uh, then paper 2 online descriptive to be typed with help of keyboard english writing skills 90 minutes 100 marks and paper 3 offline descriptive paper based paper exam professional knowledge in the area of specialization so two paper will be based on the area of specialization and one paper will be common for all the post that is english paper and uh, the exams will be conducted on same day the total marks for the exam will be 300 marks and they have given that marks scored in paper 1, paper 2, paper 3 and interview together will be counted for final selection. Then what would be the job profile? Job profile for finance will be monitoring compliance of banks to various institutions issued by instructions issued by Reserve Bank of India on regulation and supervision accounting standards and credit management stress testing of bank balance sheet and analyzing various scenarios scrutiny of app based payment avenues of banks and uh, identify vulnerabilities from a regulatory point of view and any other work interested by the bank from time to time then for data analytics interpreting data analyzing results using statistical techniques and providing ongoing reports Developing and uh, implementing database, data collection system, data analytics and other strategies that optimize statistical efficiency and quality. And acquiring data from primary or secondary data sources and maintaining database data analysis systems. And uh, then for the risk modeling, uh, building financial models using historical data and providing forecast based on various mm -hmm banking related operating metrics conducting scenario analysis based on macro and micro factors that will help in accessing risk in the financial sector ensuring accurate modeling of uh, allocated portfolios and developing new transactions modeling and enhancing the existing models identifying the key financial and non-financial non-financial risks recommending actions for Mitigations of these those risks, applying appropriate sensitivity scenario analysis to support regulatory actions, and for the forensic audit, investigate for financial frauds and examine the transaction trail, build financial profile of suspicious individual entities, compile financial investigation reports, meet with bankers and explain audit findings, and for professional copy editing, editing proof 
reading of policy documents, guidelines, reports, instructions, publications, and other documents issued by the bank in English. <laughs> and for the HRM, manpower planning, recruitment, induction, placement, training, and development of employees as per requirement in the organization. Then managing professional appraisal and career growth systems of employees. Implementation of HR policies of the organization. Managing industrial relations and uh, administration of various welfare related services and employees, ex employees, and other families and their families, and any other work given by the bank. Scheme of selection uh, in the selection paper one will be online objective type professional knowledge in the area of specialization 90 minutes 65 questions will be there and total marks will be 100 for paper 2 online descriptive 90 minutes will be given total marks will be 100 and for paper 3 the offline descriptive questions that will to be displayed on computer answers to be written on answer sheet provided by Bank. So there will not be a separate question paper will not be given the questions will be reflecting in the computer set and you have to answer on the answers given on the answer sheets and this uh, paper will again be of 90 minutes. So here they will give you 9 to 10 questions and out of which 5 questions will be answered by the candidates. This will also be 100 marks question paper. And so total marks will be 300 for all the papers. Now what they have given the paper one of only such candidates who appear in all three papers will be checked and paper one will have negative marking for every wrong answer. Paper two and paper three of only such candidates who secure minimum aggregate marks in paper one as prescribed by the board will be checked. Paper 1, Paper 2 and Paper 3 will be held on the same day in two sessions, shifts. There will be a break of 60 minutes between two sessions, shifts. And you have to uh, write answers of Paper 2 in English only, whereas the candidates have the option to write, uh, appear for the interview in English and the Hindi both and final selection will be based on the paper one paper two and three and interview marks taken together then uh, interview will be of 50 marks as it is in grade bdr then for paper two english syllabus will be the paper on english shall be framed in a manner to access the writing skills including expression and understanding of the topic essay press writing Comprehension Business Office Correspondence and for Paper 1 and 3 for Finance for Finance Candidates Paper 1 Objective mm -hmm. Test on the following topics Questions on RBI's Guidelines and Circulars Questions on Basel Norms and Risk Management Principles on Credit Risk, Market Risk including Treasury Risk Management, Liquidity Management and Balance Sheet Management Operational Risk and Stress Testing Questions on Financial Accounting and paper 3 of subjective will be based on analysis, analyzing a credit proposal and giving comments on whether to sanction it or not, analyzing sanction proposal and account statements and activity, arriving at correct account classification, analyzing the business strategy ICAP document and arriving at risk perception of the bank, Analysis of an investment proposal and giving comments on whether to invest in product or not to not or choose between investing in two products. Then we have data analytics, basics of statistics, probability distribution, hypothesis testing and confidence intervals, correlation and copulus, linear regression, modeling systems, MAAR, ARMA model, EWMA, GARCH model. Business data mining, spreadsheet modeling, basic modeling, and SAS. And for the risk modeling, basics of statistics, probability, distribution, hypothesis testing, and confidence interval, correlation, and copulus, 
linear regression, measures of financial risk, stress testing, volatility and distribution, key concepts of credit market, liquidity and operational risks, default risk and quantitative methodologies, Bessel Accords, spreadsheet modeling, banking products and process, risk management including credit risk, market and operational risk, stress testing, BCBS publications, IRFs, IFRS and INDAS, differentiated bank regulations, small bank, finance bank, RBA major circulars, vessel 3 capital regulations and perspective of uh, Indian regulatory environment. And for forensic audit, fundamentals of forensic accounting, fraud related concepts, red flags, concepts and techniques, Indian and international laws related to forensic audit, IT etc. account vis -vis business laws. For professional, long, short and micro, three versions of one text. The application, applicant should have the ability to present three versions of each copy long one of the publication, short one for executive summaries and big reports and for draft press releases and a micro one for disseminating through social media. Test of copy editing, punctuation and public pu problem words. The applicant would be tested for their use of punctuation while editing the copy. The copy should be free from problem words. Efforts should be given to simplify the words that might be a little heavy for the reader to understand. Grammar, the applicant would be tested for grammatical uses. Fact checking and proofreading, the applicant should check the facts and read the proof properly before submitting the edited copy. Test for technique, brevity in writing, applicant to be tested on this aspects through press writing, transcriptions, conversion of audio, video format to written reports within given time frame specification com conversion of technical content to blog style easily comprehensive reader friendly writing for common men test for tone then uh, for human resource management human resource management functions and scope of hrm components of hrm role of hr executives international hrm management process and organization behavior leadership and decision making Interpersonal and group process, organizational dynamics, human resource development, need of need for HRD strategies and systems, career planning and growth, competency mapping, performance and potential appraisal, coaching and mentoring, training and development, compensation and reward systems, incentives, motivational morale, human resource planning process and fun functions of human resource planning, HR forecasting techniques, job analysis and design. Job evaluation, recruitment and selection, employee induction oriented and specialization, succession planning, promotion, transfer and separation, organizational change, industrial relations, concepts and scope of IR, approaches to IR, trade unions and association, collective bargaining, employee participation, employee welfare, grievances, handling, dispute resolution, discipline, law of industrial relations, working conditions, wages and social security, emerging trends in HRM, the manner of conduct of the exam. The exam will be conducted in two shifts, uh, two shifts on a single day on 29 September. Paper 1 will be specific to the uh, subject and in multiple uh, questions. Paper 2 will be common for all the candidates. They will have to write through keypad in computer system and paper 3 will be related to the subject will be offline. The questions will be reflected in the uh, computer system and candidates have to write on the paper separate papers given by the Reserve Bank of India. So that's all for the examination and all the best.